Hello Commanders, my name is Dan Kober and this is the next video in the series of my video tutorials for Elite Dangerous. I first of all have to apologize once more for delay in producing these videos. I'm really really busy lately and I really late, rarely can find time to do these videos. <clears throat> And I have even cut down my elite gaming time, so yeah. Uh, so what will be the topic of this uh, tutorial? Well, we're going to talk a bit about bounty hunting. How to start to earn money uh, by bounty hunting. Um, first of all, uh, at the beginning, uh, as you play, you're going to have to earn some credits either by doing missions, uh, uh, trading, rare trading, or any other means, uh, or any other way that I described in my previous tutorials. So check them out. So at uh, here, uh, my goal will be to show you how to set up a ship uh, for bounty hunting, and goal for credits will be around 300,000 credits, and you're gonna use the eagle. Uh, uh, you can get, for example, Viper for less than 300,000 credits, but you won't be able to set it up decently, let's say so. But uh, with this uh, Eagle setup, you can still do good bounty hunting, and you can uh, easily and quickly uh, get your money back and earn more money and upgrade it. Um, and you can upgrade the Eagle to over a million credits worth of upgrades, so there is still a lot of room to uh, make it even better. So first of all, we're gonna get ourselves a uh, ship. So we're gonna get ourselves a brand new ship. We're gonna take Eagle, and we're gonna see what they have here. Um, uh, just let's go for it. We're not gonna waste any more time. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna buy a new Eagle. So uh, as you can see here, uh, the new Eagle will cost you around. 40,000 credits. Uh, okay. We're gonna confirm that. Okay, let's wait for it to load. And uh, now we're gonna quickly go over the outfitting, how to outfit and what to put on it. Uh, so, and uh, short to descri describe what to keep in mind while, while outfitting your ship for bounty hunting. So let's go in our outfitting menu. Okay. First things first. Uh, if you uh, you have to notice that Eagle has three hard points. Uh, all three of them are small hard points. But the, the placement of hard points is quite important. Uh, at the top, there is a one hard point, and at the bottom, you have the two hard points. So what we're going to do, we're going to put on top uh, energy weapon. So we, we're going to use that to lower the shields of our targets. So let's see what we have here available. It would be good if we have, great, we have it, beam gimbaled laser. Uh, beam lasers, uh, they shoot continuously, continuous beam, and they are, they are good at lowering the enemy shields, but they do less damage to hull. So we're gonna get ourselves this nice new shiny beam laser. And you have to keep in mind that beam lasers are quite power hungry, so you'll have to keep that in mind. On the bottom, uh, since we're going to use the beam laser to uh, lower down the shields of enemies, we're going to put on bottom two uh, multi cannons so that we're going to use them to damage the hull of our enemies. So we're going to put two gimbaled multi cannons. The uh, difference between gimbal and fixed weapons is that fixed weapons do usually more damage, but you have to aim them manually. And uh, they are a bit better at longer range because they, even though they are fixed, they still have a small amount of gimbal. And at longer range, they can be much more precise than uh, regular gimbal weapons. But downside is that you have to maneuver in the way that your enemy is always in the optimal firing position, which is not always a best position to be while trying to avoid enemy fire. 
So we're gonna use uh, multi cannon also here uh, gimbal. Uh, so yeah, with with this gimbal setup, uh, you have the more room to do uh, more room for aiming errors, sort of say, so you can focus more on. Uh, on avoiding enemy fire and staying in their blind spot where they can't shoot you because if you go for harder targets like uh, pythons, uh, anacondas, uh, uh, clippers uh, uh, you'll have to stay away from their guns because they can easily shoot you down so now we have weapons on our ship next thing we need here at our hard points is to put a warrant kill warrant scanner so that you can scan enemy targets and get extra credits uh, for killing them because if you even if the uh, ship is uh, wanted in the current system he might be wanted also in some other system and without the kill warrant scanner you don't know that uh, and you can get extra credits for scanning him and killing him that way so it's always good to have kill warrant scanner and we're gonna go for the cheapest one here you can later upgrade it for one with the better range but we'll be fine with this one okay now for the internal components uh, first thing we're gonna do we're gonna remove the basic discovery scanner, scanner because we don't need it and every uh, ton less of uh, weight is good because you need to have your ship as maneuverable as possible we also gonna remove the cargo rack. Okay. Uh, shield generator. We're gonna upgrade it to something in the range around. And uh, let's see what we have here as option. Mm, maybe this one. Let's see. Do we have anything in this? Uh, this one is quite expensive. We're gonna go with the cheaper one. Uh, after all, the point is trying not to get shot at, so we can survive with a cheaper shield. But later on, I would definitely suggest to upgrade it as to best one available. Uh, fuel tank, we can't expand it, and we don't need it. Small or big, it won't make any any major difference. Uh, sensors, uh, for now, we're going to go... Let's see, what do we have? The... <laughs> No, we don't. We're not gonna upgrade it here. There's no point because there is no lighter one at the moment, and the price difference is significant. So we'll be fine with the current one. Power distributor. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, this is important. The power distributor is important because it will charge your uh, system, uh, engine, and weapons bars on the right bottom corner uh, faster and you'll be able to shoot longer uh, uh, use boost for a longer time and your shields will have more power to uh, soak up all the damage that you will get so we're gonna try to upgrade it and see what we have here as an option um, uh, let's see uh, let's go for this one Currently, this is at this station the only one available. I mean, the best available for Eagle. Uh, but uh, let's see basically what class we can get to. So, yeah, basically, the uh, class 2A category would be the best one. Life support. Uh, we're gonna get this one uh, because it expands uh, oxygen time capacity and it's quite light uh, so it's always a good thing so we're gonna buy that one you can skip this if you don't want to spend extra credits frame shift drive um, okay let's see uh, since I have found the system where I will be bounty hunting I don't need good frameship drive but if you will have to travel around with your ship to find the, your hunting ground uh, at least keep the one that you have or try to buy a better one and maybe later you can sell it when you find a good spot but for now we're gonna leave it as it is trusters this is also important part because you need to have maneuverability with your ship 
but also we have to keep in mind on the, on the credits we have so we're gonna get this one because it has more optimal mass yep we're gonna go for this one and keep uh, note that I have left the power plant for the last because uh, we have uh, we bought firstly the weapons now all the other modules that uh, consume power now we're gonna buy the power plant uh, the minimum we we can afford basically if you would go for the top range uh, uh, arrangement on the eagle then you would just buy the top one and you wouldn't bother anymore but as I said uh, the budget is uh, something that you have to keep in mind here so uh, we're gonna try to find the best one we can fit for the money we have uh, so looking at here if you, uh, if you take a note uh, here in this part you can see uh, amount of power that we use while weapons are retracted and the amount of power we use while weapons are deployed uh, you can uh, reduce the deploy amount of power by uh, switching off some modules that you need don't need while fighting for example frame shield drive and stuff like that but there is not much of things that we can turn off on our ship except the frame shift drive and if we go back and take a look at it uh, so we have this one he only consumes uh, 0.24 power so we wouldn't benefit a lot so we do have to get ourselves a power plant that has more than 7.72 megawatts of power and that would be this one for 17,803 credits. So we're gonna buy it. Gonna confirm. And uh, uh, we're not gonna change anything about the uh, uh, hull. We're gonna leave it as it is because we are trying to stay on the budget. Okay. So, as you can see, there was a reminder about the fire groups. Uh, that means that we have to set up our fire groups. So, we're gonna go under the fire group page on our right panel, and we're gonna set it up uh, like this. On the primary button, we're gonna leave the beam laser, and on the secondary, we're gonna put our multi cannons. And in the second fire group, on the primary button we're gonna put a kill warrant scanner actually no we're gonna put it on the second button why because if you're gonna switch to the secondary group when you're gonna do a scanning uh, sometimes in the uh, in the whole mess of fight blah blah, blah you can uh, you can get to a situation where you want to go where you will try to scan enemy but will forget to switch the secondary group you have a steel at the first group and if you would leave the laser at the group one uh, sorry if you would leave the scanner at the uh, button one uh, you might hit the enemy instantly because the laser fires right away but with the multi cannons uh, you will have they need uh, some time to uh, spool up so they start to rotate and then they start to fire so if you would accidentally click and start shooting while you attempted to scan uh, this way you would s hear the sound of the guns starting to rotate and you can abort and switch to the secondary fire group so it's uh, just a precaution to avoid you getting uh, fines and getting a wanted level uh, by accidentally hitting someone that uh, you're trying to scan and it turns out that he's not wanted <laughs> so better safe than sorry so yeah we have our beam laser at button one multi cannons on button two and the secondary fire group on button two we have kill warrant scanner okay so that's it anything else no uh, that's it regarding the ship setup now I'm gonna quickly show you how to find um, area where to hunt and where to do your bounty hunting so you will open your galaxy map and go under the view tab and select this map view and uh, you can go for starts with trying to find extraction 
uh, systems that do the which have as a primary economic uh, as a extraction uh, systems and you're going to click on this one for example and you open the system view basically what you're looking at is to have a planet that has rings and he should have here on the ring type a uh, rocky or metal rich this one has ice in this one is not good because there won't be any extraction points on this one let's see this one but this one is the one that we're looking at so it has a metal rich ring which will initially means that there will be some extraction points on it and uh, it's always let's see this one uh, this one has a uh, rocky and icy this one also might have extraction point on it and let's presume that it will have uh, this would be a better candidate because it has a station nearby that you can go on and uh, refuel, repay, repair and sell your bounty. So it's always good to have a station in orbit of the planet with uh, ex uh, research, research uh, extraction points or short rests. And one thing also to keep in mind while searching for the, uh, for the system where you're going to hunt is the security level. If you go with the, this uh, square cursor in the empty area, on the left side you will have this security uh, section where it says medium. So basically this system has a medium security level, which will uh, in general uh, mean that there will be less security ships that will uh, fly around and bother you and potentially be targets that you can ac accidentally shoot and get yourself wanted and uh, it will also mean that there will be more uh, wanted ships in the uh, systems with lower security level and uh, apparently also the size of the population of the system also dictates uh, how much uh, uh, ships will be spawned on uh, on uh, every rest site but I can't confirm that as being 100% uh, correct so keep that in mind so yeah, but uh, if you can't find any system nearby that is uh, ex primary extraction, you can under your view option also include a refinery or industrial. And so to use that and expand the amount of systems. But if you take a note, this, this system that I'm current, currently in, it has a rest site but it's uh, high-tech and refinery so you can find uh, rest sites almost everywhere but in this system that I note uh, that I said they are most mo most common so yeah I'm here at this system and I'm gonna use this area to bounty hound so basically I'm gonna show you uh, the system map of this system where I'm in so I'm currently at this station here and I have a research extraction point at the rings of this planet that station is basically orbiting so it's quite quite near and quite convenient and I have the station where I can sell my bounties, repair my ship, rearm and stuff like that and since you, we will be using uh, kinetic uh, weapons with our eagle you always it's good to have a place where you can rearm uh, close to the rest site so uh, let's go and get to our rest site and start killing some wanted ships okay so we have here eagle that is wanted so we're gonna switch to our secondary fire group and we're gonna scan him. Okay. Landing gear retracted. And now that we have scanned him, we're gonna slow down, switch back to our, our primary fire group. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
We're gonna redistribute power a bit, we're gonna get a bit in the system, bit in the engine, mostly to our weapons. And we're gonna rip him with our beam laser first. Because we want his shields to get dropped first. Like that. And now we can start to shoot at him with our multi cannons. And we can also shoot at him with the beam lasers. But you have to keep in mind with, while shooting beam lasers to at your weapon's power. Because if it drops too low, your cannons won't be able to shoot either. And here is our first kill. 8000 credits earned. Now let's see what else do we have here. Do we have maybe some bigger ships? You can see here in the distance some firing. That's usually a good indicator that there is someone who is wanted and he's been either shoot so at here by we are. security we are ships at research, or he is shooting at someone. Site. So it's always good and we're gonna turn to turn on our that weapons. But apparently, and we're gonna switch to our secondary. He's either group killed where we have who our he was shooting. Oh, kill no, one no, no, scanner. No. Still have it. And we're gonna search for some yeah, thing some to shoot at. Going on. And the ships that are already wear down okay. by we have security, security ships so are easy evil. target and cheap okay, credits earned because spawning around. Uh, look, for example, you see this one already has its shields drop and it's already damaged. So that's also uh, a good thing with uh, security ships have upgrading your save us some work. Your but as usual, we're gonna switch to our secondary scan group. We're gonna scan the him for the ranges. Okay, let's see this sidewinder. He's clean. So always keep in mind to scan any okay, first to we have here. Mm. We have enough more extra credits. Now we're gonna do something different. Uh, usually, to us we're gonna aim won't at be his, uh, wanted power plant. In we can do that by going to the left so menu and sub targets. Uh, and usually, what we're looking plant. for are eagle sign or you can uh, assign uh, cobras buttons and the keyboard to wipers. Uh, usually, if you destroy ship's power okay, plant, he will explode wonder. before his hull drops to zero. So we're gonna try to do exactly that. Uh, okay. Okay. Just a second. We're gonna add more, again, more power to our guns. I've seen some flashes. Okay, a bit yeah, more power to end. Usually you can see uh, signs of fighting and where security ships so are fighting closer. someone who's wanted and that can be indicated there is someone who him. is wanted in that oh, area. Yep, sorry, my clean, mistake, I clean, forgot to clean, switch clean, to clean, clean. other power group. Apparently everyone around us here is clean. So let's search till we find someone who isn't. Okay, you can see down there what I have been talking about. Yeah, first we're gonna drop flash shield. Somebody is shooting and someone. And now we're gonna shoot again with our okay multi cannons. Say adder. Oh, okay, he's wanted, and we're gonna get close to him. So we can first and scan can him with our kill warrior scanner, the beams, and uh, at the beginning keep note to avoid oh, ships yeah, that I are yeah. in wings, because you will have to deal with uh, more than one enemy at a time. So, for example, this adder is perfect because it's alone. And now we, that we have scanned, as soon as your weapon's to power goes weapons, down, uh, switch and off the fire on laser. first with our laser. And now we're gonna, and we're gonna add more power to the his, weapons. His shield. So we're gonna shoot and with back the beam laser first. Now that shield and is take offline. a note at the we power, his power him plant. Him. And his power nice plant is down. Nice little pack so of bullets zero. with our multi -cannons. So he will explode any second. 
And that's another 17,400 credits earned. Again, I do apologize for my... And if we take a look at our left not panel, quite competent driving skills, you can see I'm not very used. We have our <laughs> fighting with mouse and keyboard. So let's try and find one more ship to shoot at. This time we're gonna go try to shoot at something a bit bigger if we have them here in this rest site. Okay, shield, his shields I'm gonna show you how to deal online. with the bigger ships. And uh, you can easily kill Anaconda's beam lasers and with this ship. Continue but you'll have to be much more careful. And we're gonna try and to I might fail at it, uh, power plant. considering I'm playing with mouse and keyboard and I'm not very used to it. Yeah, I have to point that is excuse once more. <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? Do we have anything no bigger? Uh, apparently no, but this this Viper will serve as example where his shields and most of the health has been worn down by other ships. So we basically have to scan him. Like that, switch to our primaries and aim for his power plant like that. And now, so switch more power to the weapons and start to shoot at him before they kill him. And I think we sh did did enough damage to earn uh, yeah we did so basically you can still kill him while he's at some 20 percent and you will get the bounty for the ship and we did get 27,000 credits bounty for it uh, the same would be with bigger ships as I said anacondas pythons and stuff like that you can wait for uh, uh, security ships to wear them down and then uh, basically just finish it off and collect the bounty for that ship and you can with even this small ship uh, quite fast earn a lot of credits and you have to keep in mind not to shoot security vessels because if you do shoot them you're gonna get wanted level and they will all <laughs> uh, forget what they were doing and instantly go for you and start to shoot at you so be very very careful so that's it for this bounty hunting tutorial for this couple of kills we did earn almost 80,000 credits but uh, with a bit of a practice you can easily uh, fight bigger ships and I'm gonna uh, include one video where I will uh, uh, use this eagle to fight a couple of bigger ships and show you how to deal with them but I'll do that at home with my hotas so it will be uh, so I don't embarrass myself or get killed because I have to admit I'm doing this video second time because first time I managed to kill myself by ramming uh, my ship in asteroid. Uh, yeah, so I hope this was uh, helpful, informative, and entertaining. Entertaining, and if it was, please consider subscribing, liking this video, and I'll keep. I'll do my best to uh, make new tutorials, new videos. Uh, as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and bye bye.